Hello, this is Warhammer Workshop, and here is my unboxing and review of Necromunda Escher Gang. On screen you can see the Necromunda Underhive box set the gang came in, however you can buy the Escher Gang separately for £25. Ten models in total are created. Here are the two identical sprues. Here is the first sprue, the backside in relation to the miniatures. Again, both sprues are identical. And here is the front side, so of course you have many duplicate torsos and weapons. I haven't cut them out yet, but I plan on doing what I did for the Goliaths, which is to cut out all the parts and build my 10 characters from the parts. You get something like 15 heads, countless hair pieces, and you get many power swords, shotguns, and also two whips, and so on. One thing is, I can already see that it's going to be difficult. The parts are even smaller. There are many moving parts, as it were, and there isn't much connection point to the heel and base. You do need to be careful due to all the small parts and fragile connection points which mean you can easily lose or break pieces. I do however like the fact the legs are already attached to the torsos, but you can clearly see almost all of the legs are separate. I can only hope the Eshers are as easy as the Goliaths. Everything is well designed with those guys and everything fits together nicely. As always I will give more of a review in the Let's Build video, and then I can go over some of the advantages and disadvantages etc. Well that is all for this video, thank you for watching.